Kyle, just um, another season. Obviously, you, you had an opportunity to really kind of establish yourself last year. Yep. What has this offseason been like for you? Man, it's been an offseason of great development, both uh, physically and mentally. I started new practices such as uh, yoga, which has got me, I think, in the best shape of I've been in in my life. I think you'll see the benefits this season. Is that where, like, the stamina piece, I know that you guys yeah. had to log a lot of minutes at times and stuff. Is that where you feel like you'll feel some benefit? For sure. Um, I feel like uh, our intensity within practice, we've been going harder and I think with the yoga that you were just mentioning, that our stamina is definitely going to be there. So we've focused on that, especially this offseason. What have the new guys been like that you guys have brought in? Oh, man, new guys have been great. Javon Franklin uh, has been great. Lance Terry, who I think is going to, you know, shock a lot of people. Not necessarily shock, but he's going to impress a lot of people. Um, man, and I think the improvements of everyone within our team is going to be um, – it's going to be big to see. Kind of, has anyone caught your eye with maybe how they've developed in the offseason that's returning? Yes. Um, I would say the three Musketeers, as in Jalen Moore, Debo Coleman, and Miles Kelly, they've all taken great steps within their game, and I'm looking forward to see them, you know, produce at a high level and, and actually, you know, affect winning. Is that one of those things where those guys got kind of to play a lot more maybe last mm -hmm. year because of things, and you're going to benefit from it this year? I, I definitely think so. Um, I think, you know, just experience, you can't account for experience until you actually, you know, play in the games. You have all the skill in the world, but actually getting that game experience and getting that under your belt, I think that's going to pay off um, down the road, and I think that road is now. You know, without getting into too much specifics, because you guys mm -hmm. don't have a game yet, but mm -hmm. um, you don't want to give away everything, but right. how much has the offense changed with what you guys are doing now? Yeah, like you said, you know, everything's got to wait till you know, the season come around. But I think offense is going to be um, played at a much better pace. I think we, that's just one of our focuses uh, for this season. I think people are going to, you know, be surprised to see, you know, the growth that these guys have made. It's, and I would include Rodney in that, and I would include myself in that, both offensively and defensively. Do you like, you know, you guys have a lot of guards, so I imagine mm -hmm. you guys can run the offense more through the guards. Yeah. Is that something you're enjoying a little bit more? Yeah. I, I feel like we can push the pace with uh, anyone in the country and um, play fast. And I feel like playing fast allows us more opportunities to score, but also allows more opportunities to um, put pressure on the defense. So I feel like that's going to benefit us. And your offensive game, has there been anything in particular you've worked on? Yeah, I always, um, you know, so many things. I always try to become a better shooter, um, be a better decision maker. But I think I've been more confident in, in my abilities. And I think that's been the biggest improvement for me, um, believing in what I can do and, and trusting it, trusting the work. And defensively, obviously, mm -hmm. that's always been a, a thing that coach pushes a for lot. Sure. Can you talk about kind of, you know, how you're developing there? Yeah, I think I'm being more vocal, um, and I kind of understand and expect what he wants from his point guard at the at the defensive position. So I think that's helped me uh, going into this offseason. I'm trying to, you know, relay everyone else, you know, how intense we have to play just to survive. You know, it's not about you know the offense as much as it is about the defense and what we can control. Co you, you guys were talking about Coach Wilkins in there. Can you mm -hmm. talk a little bit about what he's done, meant to you and, and Man, your development? Yeah, Coach Wilkins has been, you know, I would say a life changer. You know, some people save your life, some people change it. You know, he's been great with me, uh, not only my skill, but my mental, my mentality, you know, taking every, you know, possession and appreciating it. And um, I think all of our guys have benefited from him, uh, especially him becoming a new associate head coach. I think all of our guys have benefited from him. What's is there like a personal goal or anything you have for the season or, or team goal? goals? Okay, yeah, I can give you both. Personal goal: win, win every game we you know we try to play. Um, team goal: you know go far in the tournament. We want to make the tournament, um, and we you know we want to accomplish everything we know that we can accomplish. Not worry about what everyone else does. Do you guys still have a bitter taste in your mouth from what happened two years ago with the tournament, sure. losing Moses and I think playing a road game, basically? Yeah, I think about it every day. It's funny, I was just watching that game on YouTube the other day, and it's just like you you kind of play, and I know you can't, you shouldn't do this, but you kind of play the man what-if game, you know, if he would have been there, how deep it could have been. Um, but the beautiful part is we have opportunity this year, and that's all we can count on. So with that opportunity, it's on us.